Hello everyone, this is Avna Pariyat, who is standing from Shillong East as a candidate for the 2023 MLA elections, which are fast approaching. Now I have a friend who is a very serious sort of person and he's a very practical kind of a chap. So he told me quite bluntly, and I appreciate people who are blunt and who are frank and straightforward. He told me straightforward, he said, uh, you know what, uh, I think uh, this is a stupid thing. You should not go ahead and you should just, uh, you know, back out while it's, while the going is good. You shouldn't uh, waste your time going and uh, doing this election. And I'm very impractical in many ways yes uh, i don't look at reality as it is but what it should be that is my fatal flaw perhaps and i quite politely maybe impolitely also disagreed with him because i said look your practicality or the ideas that we've had about what we should be doing have all been flawed actually it has not led us anywhere Practicality dictates that we keep quiet and we obey and we become subservient and obedient to people who are above us. And that has always been what people have always uh, told us. They said, no, no, you should always keep quiet, be good, be obedient. But I beg to differ, my dear friends, because that attitude, that way of being has not led us anywhere we are in a very, very dire situation. Everyone under 40 now has a huge, huge anxiety about their future. And I don't blame them. I'm also in the same boat, by the way. The reason why I've come out and decided to fight is because I can't just take things as they are anymore. And we are seeing that more and more people feel the same. None of our politicians think like that. All they want to do is to, as the Khasi saying goes, Manchu mang pisa. Ki ki tip si tip tangga mang pisa. Pekin ay pisa, ben pelong marau yung ni, to make us slaves forever. To give the 5,000 bucks, 10,000 bucks. That 5,000, 10,000 bucks will not free you from slavery, from poverty, from hardship, from suffering. That is why we need to think differently. Because as it stands now, none of our politicians across the board, whether they're BJP, Congress, NPP, UDP, whatever, none of them are dreaming of anything beyond what they are experiencing. They need to open their eyes and see something else. That is why you need impractical people such as myself and others who can't accept reality as it is, but who want to change it. That is the point of politics, is to change the world. Not to simply accept what is. Because if we were to accept what is, we will never, ever, ever be able to free ourselves. And that very simple belief is why I am out here uh, fighting this election. I'm trying to meet as many people and I need your help to meet more people. I need more volunteers. We don't have money, but we have ideas. We want to change things. You're seeing now the assembly is in, literally, it's in disrepair. Is that a coincidence? Why are we shocked? I was not shocked. I was not shocked when the the bridge at uh, Dwar, Dwar so keeps falling apart. I am not shocked that it takes three years to finish the bridge from uh, that connects Rinja with uh, Umpling. I am not shocked that any of these things happen because our politicians have no ideas. They rely on their IAS officers and their MCS officers to do, well, mostly IAS officers, to do the thinking for them. But these people don't leave their offices. They are bound inside the secretariat. They are enslaved to their seats. How will they know what we, the people, need? It is the politicians who are supposed to think about that. 
I want us all to think very differently. Yes, I'm an independent. I have no money. But I have the goals and I know how to get, achieve them. I believe that we can all together put faith in each other and achieve something different. People might say, oh, you are going up against Goliath. You're going against a mountain. You are that man in front of the tanks in Tiananmen Square. It's good. I have no problems with that. For me, I lose nothing being out here because I know what we are fighting for. We are fighting for a future, my dear friends. It is our future. Don't even talk about your kids' future. Forget your kids. Think about our future. We who are under 40 now, it is our future. We have no assets. We have no money. We have no uh, credit. Nothing. Nothing. That is why I'm out here, to fight. Winning or losing is a different thing. But I'm in here to fight to the end. Because, honestly, we have very little to lose. I think a lot of us feel this way. We feel this anger. Many times it comes out in different ways. We end up drinking booze too much, taking drugs, trying to forget our problems, our miseries, our anxieties about the future. And now it's no longer time to be drunk and intoxicated. Now is the time to fight. And uh, I'm just one person who is here in the fight. I know you also have that fight in you and I want you to join it. Thank you so much.